Hello, um, this is Joseph, and today I would like to make a bit of a review on how to use the Do Not Overload class properly and how to get the items. So let's start with getting the items. First, click the Book of Lore, and yeah, it should come up, but it goes slow right now. Um, so go to a dot. E dot. and then look for the right thing and here it should be do not unload and if you're bored put in it should be there uh, let's see when you click get item it will open a shop with all the items and I already have all the items on me and I have rank 5 Doom Knight, just in case I need to show off all the attacks. And here's Doom Knight Overlord, and Doom Knight Overlord Armor, and Sepulcher's Helm. You will probably find out that you won't have any cape, so you may need to get your own. And I won't use a cape in this video because that would seem a bit strange. And here's how to get the house, just click get house and then click do not fortress and buy. I have already gotten the house, so I can show you it right now. You go to the house, run in <coughs> and if you want to use the trapdoor anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Just click the name or the guy and click trapdoor. Trap door. And then they should appear in your cellar. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm actually lagging right now. So, wait one sec. I just got to check something because I don't really know if I have used all of my gigabytes on my computer because I did it once and that was not good. Okay, this is a review. So, let's get to the attacks. Attack number one. It's torture. Magically torment your foes, mine, causing slight damage but also reducing their damage and crit. Damage increased with each additional party member. So if you have 5 friends on and every, each and every of them are in your party, then I guess you will really be advantage and... Okay. Really big advantage and the same with all of the attacks. For both Doom Knight, Overload and all the other doom and the, the other class the high lord so screaming darkness this will attack everyone in the room because casual no it just causes all folks within range to burst into flames dealing moderate damage and causing them to burn for damage over time effect increased with each additional party member so next is dark challenge has a 50 percent 50-50 chance of either stunning your foe a few seconds or giving you back some health. Healing effects increase with each additional party member. Okay. Okay, so next one is Miasma. I haven't tried this myself, but deals massive damage and significantly lowers your, uh, your target ability to hit anything for a short time. That seems a bit overpowered, but it takes 50 mana, so yeah, it may not be. We will find a place where we can test this out. I don't know where. Uh, we'll probably go to Yokai and then Lolosia. Okay, let's test it out at the Ended Pirates. Level 40. Okay, so let's see. Attack number one. Torture. It shoots an uh, attack that will get a lot of skulls around the enemy. Screaming darkness, as you know, will attack everyone in the room and it will hurt very bad. This will either give you help or stun your foe. And that means we just got heal instead. So Miasma 
it should do a lot of damage. Uh, I think we can kill one of these guys in one attack. If we want to, and um, yeah, let's try. So, we'll go for this, and... Right, so if you have full lucky enchantments with a cape, and you are like level 40 or 45, you should be able to hit like 20,000 I guess on that single attack. If you use all of the other attacks, then you use the attack. Uh, that is a really powerful combo. But oh, and also one other thing: you receive mana when you get hit in the game by any monster or anything. And you get mana when you hit anyone also. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's basically everything I have to say today. I don't know, I have already made one video. That's also like 30 minutes long. So yeah, later guys.